was a funny time for me because I was just figuring out you're just a young young schoolboy and you're um, interested in clothes. Um, I remember coming home from school and I was still wearing my school uniform. I always like dressed and smart and had tie on all the time. And my mum, she always used to look at me and see me, even not on a school day, dressing up for a shirt and a tie. And she'd say, oh, where are you going? And I'd be like, I'm not going anywhere, but I just like to look smart. So for me, I always kind of wanted to be smart all the time. It was just always dressing to impress. And my grandmother at the time, she showed me how to make a jacket. So I made it up and I was very proud of it at the time. And um, I applied for this job. I went to see the guy who ran the shop and he said, sure, come come and see me and let's we'll see what you've got. So I went to see him and uh, I showed him my jacket and then um, he wasn't impressed. It was a bespoke tailor's I was going to, but I didn't understand anything about bespoke at the time. So I thought, well, he's got to like my jacket, but obviously he didn't, but he said he will teach me. So um, that was great news for me because I just still wanted to learn. I would say I try to um, promote individuality, so any customer that comes to me, any client that comes and they want a suit or whatever, I try to find out exactly what their style is and what they want and um, what kind of, you know, whether it's the job that they're in and they want to look a certain way, it all depends on what kind of style they've had before. I try to get as much information as I can, so for me, for my, my own clothes and what I do, I, I try to cater for the individual client and to bring out the best in his style. Well, the collection is based on my own style. I mean, I love double-breasted suits. That's my foundation suits, and I love suits, but I also like casual wear as well. Uh, I don't wear suits all the time, but I still like quality clothes. So for me, when it comes to like a bomber jacket, I've still got the elements of a double breasted suit in that because that's my own personal style. So if I'm throughout the collection, I have elements of a double breasted style, which is what I like. And I have single breasted styles as well, because I also like that. So most of the collection is what I would wear throughout, you know, the whole wardrobe, whether it's an overcoat or it's a bomber jacket, or it's just a casual Mac. But I, I, ideally, it's based on what I like. The colours um, are mainly like strong kind of colours that I use, um, depending on you know if it's winter time I like to use stronger colours, if it's summer time I use softer colours, but it all depends on how I'm feeling at the time of what colours I want to wear. Um, I've always liked different styles and want to look different from everyone else, and I've always been uh, interested in you know just um, a, a different approach to to tailoring um, rather than your conservative stuff so for me um, I've always had that creative side that I wanted to, to bring out but it's, uh, it, it, it does take developing um, ideas of um, maybe from a customer he might have an idea it just takes someone else to develop that it's just something different something so that that customer can say yeah this is my own style this is my identity 